Hey everyone, Wes here. Uh, I was just on Twitter and I saw John Gardner tweet out uh, for some help with some WordPress. What he's looking to do is loop through each of the categories and then within that show the posts that belong to that category. Uh, I thought that was kind of cool so I just thought I'd make a quick tutorial showing you guys how to do that. Uh, set up here, I just have your, your regular old WordPress install and I've put a bunch of lore MIPS and posts with each of them are in a couple categories each. Uh, what we want to do next is create a page that will be displaying these categories on it. So let's add a new one, posts by category, we'll call it, and then just publish it. Uh, next, what we want to do is create uh, a custom template for that page, since we will be looping through each of them with some custom code. So just create a new file. And then I'm just going to grab our code from the regular old page.php just so we can have the same site structure. You'll probably have your own theme set up for that. Uh, we can also delete this part because this is the WordPress loop that regularly displays all of your um, either your page or your posts. Since we're creating our own custom loop, we don't need it. Uh, last thing we want to do is create the template name. And then if we head back into our WordPress, refresh this, you want to select post by category as our template. When we update that, if we take a look at the page, there's going to be nothing on it. Um, just to make sure it's working right high in there, and you'll see it show up, shows up here. Uh, so now what we need to do is loop through each of our categories. So let's set up a variable called cats and we're going to use the WordPress function called get categories and what that's going to do is it's going to call the database for all of your categories and put them into our category um, variable here just to show you what's inside of that we're just going to print uh, print r that variable and as you can see here we get an array of uh, a bunch of objects that have um, all the information. As you can see, the ID, which is important to us, the slug if you're um, using pretty permalinks, and the name is also pretty important to us. And it just loops through each of the categories that I have listed inside of my um, admin. If you take a look here, I have them just listed here. Uh, so that's definitely not not what we want, but that's that's a good start. So to loop through each of those categories, we want to open up a for each statement. And we're going to say for each cats as cat, do this. So now if we echo out cats name, we should just get a list of all the category names. Let's actually put a little formatting in there. see them. Oh, cat, and not cats. And there you go. We have all the categories listed. Um, so that's good. Let's actually keep that. Let's make it a little nicer. Um, now that we have that, we also want to set up a variable. Let's actually do it at the top here called category ID, and that will be the ID of the category that we need uh, to loop through and get posts from that. So that's stored in cat term ID. We can actually just show it in here so we can make sure it's working. There we go, 40, 39, 38, 42. Each of them have a category ID appended to them. 
uh, next thing we want to do is set up our WordPress loop. Um, and to set up a custom WordPress loop, we need to call the query posts function. Otherwise, it'll think the page that we're on is what post we want to query, which is not correct. Um, and pass it to parameters category equals student double quotes so we don't have to concatenate anything. Cat ID and we also just want to say post per page equals 100. So that'll say at most it'll grab 100 uh, posts at once. Alternatively what you can do is head down to your WordPress, click on reading and we could we could set this to 100 but you probably don't want 100 posts showing up on your regular blog page so we're just going to leave that and hard code it in here. Um, now that the query is done we'll open up our if statement. This is just the WordPress loop. If you google WordPress loop you can read up on it here. Um, it looks pretty complicated in here but this is just the basics. It's all we need right now. So if have posts going to check if we have posts first and then we're going to use a while statement while we have posts and then we're going to set up the post for that singular one and we want to make sure that we close And while we want to close our if statement and if. So that now that that's working, let's just try to show the name of each of those posts. The title, which is a built-in WordPress function. Now if we refresh this, we should see a list of all the posts under each category. Oh. Query post. It's query posts. I spelled that wrong. And I did that one wrong too. No, oh, that's right. What do we got here? Oh, there we go. Sorry, guys. Let's have posts can't forget my S's today. And there we go. You see a bunch of the lorem ipsum names. I'll just pop an HR in there so it looks a little better for you guys. There we go. So under each category we have the post names. Uh, final thing what we want to do for that is just actually set up a link so people can click them take out the ID as well. So set up a link. The permalink will get you the actual link to the post. And then we'll just take our title, pop it in there, keep the HR in there to keep things nice. And there we go. As you can see, we click through every one. Uh, there's a lot more you could do with it if you want to order them in a certain way, or let's say you wanted to get rid of uncategorized. Just take a look at the loop and also WordPress query posts and they have all of the specification the arguments that you can pass into it so you can customize it to how you need um, so that's it I hope you enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions and I'll be uh, posting the code up on my blog as well thanks guys